Hey everybody, I'm Aiden. And I'm Renee, and we're from Hillsong Young and Free. The crazy thing is like we were all just a part of the youth ministry so we just attended week in week out and we started singing at church like leading worship in our youth ministry um, but then our youth pastor put out just the proposal to start writing songs for our generation because our generation was kind of, kind of missing um, something a bit more not depth but just like actually simplicity to worship God. We needed to be able to um, articulate worship in words and, and ways that we could understand for our generation. So we started um, writing songs and, and the best and most crazy part is like none of us auditioned to be in Young and Free. None of us were handpicked. It's literally just we were all there at the same time, at the right time, God's timing and everything just came together and, and God blessed it mm -hmm. and we are still pinching ourselves because we get mm -hmm. to do this. So, yeah. We get to be in Singapore. And we get to see, be in Singapore eating chili crab. The reality is we are a part of a local church and we are constantly going home to our church every um, whenever we're home and and we're staying grounded and, and it's uh, we're not anyone special at home at all. Taking it back to what Renee was saying, like being part of a church community, like being part of people who are all, we're all doing the same thing, but it looks different. So, you know, for example, um, you know, we, our ministry building the church looks like playing music and traveling the world, but it's not any different than somebody at home who's putting out seats in the church service. Um, that's their ministry, that's how they build the church. And so for us, like when we come home, like we're part of something way bigger than ourselves. And um, we're just, you know, in the same way that the body of Christ works, you know, the hands and the feet, everyone has different roles. Like when we come together, we're the best. So it, as soon as anybody starts to like, you know, for us, like getting big headed or whatever that is, or getting cocky, um, I think you're separating yourself from the main thing and that's not how the body of Christ works. I think it's a huge honour, like all of this is an honour, I think being able to write songs that people, becomes their worship, you're giving people words, you're giving people theology, um, is a huge responsibility. Um, I think our influences are obviously the Bible, super important. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I think that, uh, and, and I think like with this new record, three, like the influences for this are really like, it sounds cliche, but it, it's just our life experiences. and. We want to be relevant and yeah. like, you know, over time, like music evolves, everything's evolving. So we want to be able to like, you know, be with people and also at the same time, be searching for something new and fresh. Mm. And God created music. I don't, I don't think music is, I don't think. There's no rules. There's no rules. And, and I don't think God is going, ah, oh, no, that music is this type of acoustic guitar. It's only reserved. Loud. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's only reserved for this. I think taste is important. And so if you're a part of a church that their taste of the culture in that church is, they want more chill music, and that's fine because that's what they they like. But that, but I think where the conversation gets, I think, wrong, is when people say, "Oh, you can't have drums in church because that's not of God," but it is. So I think that for us, it's just like we just do what's real to us, and what comes out of us is like what you're saying—a dancey kind of thing. And I think that's just because that's the music we listen to. If you start going, "Oh, we need to be like this," like listening like to a dance track, but "Oh, we need to do that." and just ripping it off. But you don't actually like that music, you're just doing it because you know it works. I think that is a problem in itself too. And I, but I, I do think you can't neglect hard work either. I think all the guys that make Young and Free, what it is like, there's millions of people, not millions, but you know, there's a lot of us. The video, for example, Let Go Music video, the album, like it's not just a few of us involved, there's so many people. And so mm -hmm. as creatives, becoming, empowering others as well to get on board with the vision is really important and not trying to wear it all yourself. And so. I think that's what we do well, is that we include people, and I think that's really important. He's faithful. I think that's the one thing that this album is about. It's about the faithfulness of God through every season, through highs and through lows. I think God's faithfulness and His compassion towards us is what I've learned the most about on this album. Especially when you grow, I think from our first album, we had a very childlike perspective on God, which is actually a really amazing thing. But we hadn't gone through anything, we were young. We, a lot of our songs, I think a lot of people had been like, ah, oh, it's very lovey-dovey. But to be honest, that was just true to us at the time. And we, I think we were young, we hadn't experienced things, life hadn't hit us the way it might have hit other people. And I think since then till now, we've grown, we've gone through hard times, awesome times, and the one thing that's remained the same is God's faithfulness and God's character that is just, you know, amazing. So for me, that's what this album, this three is all about, is the faithfulness of God.
been a while. Like, it's been a while because yeah. we haven't released an album for like since 2016, beginning of 2016. So this is like two and a half years. Yeah. 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 So yeah we we've been working on it for probably probably about like intensely probably a year and a half, two years. You probably kind of know this, but it's a studio record, so that's new for us. We've never done that. Mm -hmm. um, it's got 17 songs, so it's more songs we've ever released ever. So that's really cool. Um, and I think it's the best stuff we've ever done. Hi everybody, it's Aiden. And Renee, and we are from Hillsong Young and Free. And we're super excited because our new album, Three, comes out on the 29th of June, and you can get it anywhere. I mean, it could be YouTube, it could be Spotify, it could be iTunes. Apple Music. Yeah, you could illegally <laughs> download it, but you shouldn't do that because Don't do that. it's available everywhere else. So enjoy, let God speak to you, have fun, we love you, bye. <laughs>